let's now do this question what they are saying is that let a be 5 cross 5 matrix and one of the eigen value of a is 0 okay so it is a 5 cross 5 matrix and they have given that one of the eigen values of a is 0 which is very nice information isn't it like i mean they they are telling something about the eigen value uh, is 0 or not like either it is 0 they are telling or it is not zero then also like they should tell then then only there is a connection between rank and eigenvalue right so they are saying that one of the eigenvalue is zero it is also known that there are four linearly independent eigenvectors corresponding to zero eigenvalue then what is the rank of a this is what they are asking now let's just see this question very carefully see in case of eigenvalues and eigenvectors we solve one homogeneous equation if you remember to solve for the eigenvector we solve this homogeneous equation and we know that there is also one homogeneous equation that we used to solve which is ax equal to 0 and now this is completely different uh, set of equations this is also uh, i mean and this is completely set of different different equations which means this is a and this is a minus lambda i so obviously they are completely different see if i just ask you whether this is 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 this is a is there any similarity between this a and then let's suppose this is 0, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Is there any similarity between these two, uh, these two homogeneous set of equations or something? Then you will say probably no, because the matrices are different. Although, although this is different from on just one index, but it is completely different matrix and this is completely different matrix. So don't try to relate A and A minus lambda i. This is my point. Okay. Don't try to relate this A and A minus lambda i. But now the good thing is that if you have lambda equal to zero, then actually both are same. Okay. So if let's suppose if you put lambda equal to zero here for lambda, if lambda is zero possible, then this is just ax equal to zero. And now the corresponding eigenvector you get from here, right, which is x. Now, whatever is the solution here is basically the eigenvector. I mean, generally we used to call the solution of ax equal to zero here, but here I will be calling this x as eigenvector. Now suppose that you get the solution is something like this, right? Suppose you get the solution is something like this, which means that you are solving ax equal to 0, which is, which is actually a result of putting lambda equal to 0 here, right? And then you are solving x equal to 0, you get the eigenvector, which is x, which is of this form, which means what? That you, you have two linearly independent eigenvectors corresponding to lambda equal to 0. See, this solution ax equal to 0, now now in case of eigenvalue eigenvector now has become the eigenvector this x has now become the eigenvector earlier it was just a normal solution but now this x is eigenvector right i mean if you have lambda equal to zero then this ax equal to zero here x is the eigenvector now if i say that there are there are two linearly independent eigenvectors corresponding to lambda equal to zero which means the solution looks like this which means that that they are saying that there are two free variables here See, that is one thing is for sure that for every eigenvalue, there is at least one free variable. But now they are saying that there are two free variables, right? Two free variables, which means they're talking about the nullity. What is the nullity? Nullity is two, which means rank will be n minus two. See, if they say there are two linearly independent eigenvectors corresponding to lambda equal to zero, then this is nullity. Because this is the number of free variables in A, which is just nullity. Do you remember that gate 2021 question that we did, right? So there they have said something like this and then they were they were asking about the rank that was that was the four four was the answer if I remember correctly. So there they were they were asking about the rank and they they have not made it so complicated the eigenvalue eigenvector like that they have just directly gave you that okay in the solution of ax equal to zero you get something which is just having this form maybe this form right here instead of telling you the solution of x equal to zero I am just telling you one one extra step that you have lambda equal to zero and then you solve for the eigenvector just just one extra line i'm telling you essentially both are the same things right because this is also x equal to zero and this is this is also finally for lambda equal to zero this also becomes x equal to zero so i can say that that nullity or maybe you can say that uh, number of number of linearly independent eigenvectors vectors corresponding to lambda equal to 0 is nullity right now let's just solve that question now what they are saying 
that corresponding to lambda equal to zero, there are four linearly independent eigenvectors, which means nullity is four, right? Sorry. So which means nullity nullity is four, which means rank is five minus one, which is sorry five minus four, which is one, right? Very easily you can solve this question. What is the rank? Then rank is one. Okay. Now let's just see this question. So what they are saying, let A be 5 cross 5 matrix and it has 4 linearly independent eigenvectors. Then what is the rank of A? Just, just think about it. A, B, 5 cross 5 matrix and it has 4 linearly independent eigenvectors. But they are not saying that these linearly dependent eigenvectors are corresponding to lambda equal to 0 or whether there is a lambda equal to 0 or not at the first place. They have not given any information about it. So can you calculate the rank? The answer is no. So answer is here, here actually the answer is we cannot, we cannot comment anything about the rank. right because they have not given anything about lambda equal to zero whether lambda equal to zero exists does not exist and actually i need to know that how many linearly independent uh linearly independent eigenvectors are there corresponding to lambda equal to zero then only i can i can know the nullity then only i can know the rank but they have not given any information okay now let's just see this question let a be 15 cross 15 matrix and one of the eigenvalue zero then what is the rank of a now they are saying that one of the eigenvalue zero then what can you say about the rank? See, they, they have given you that, okay, one of the eigenvalue is 0, which means that rank cannot be 15, which means rank must be less than 15. Rank of A, rank of A must be less than 15. Now, from here, from here, you need to know that how many linearly dependent eigenvectors are there corresponding to lambda equal to 0. But they have not given this information. So, you, you cannot conclude anything out of it. So rank could be anything, anything which is less than 15. So what is the rank of A? Anything which is less than 15. I mean, exact rank you cannot tell until and unless they tell you the, uh, the nullity, which is the number of linearly independent eigenvectors corresponding to lambda equal to 0. Okay. Now they have modified the same question. They are saying that one of the eigenvalues is 0. It is also known that 10 linearly independent eigenvectors are there for A. Now what is the rank of A? See, they are saying that one of the eigenvalues is 0 and 10 linearly independent eigenvectors are there. Now, again, you don't know. You don't know what is the characteristic equation it may look like. See, lambda equal to 0 is one of the eigenvalues. Maybe, maybe there are 9 more again eigenvalues and each is having uh, each is having uh, one linearly dependent eigenvectors, which means you don't know corresponding to lambda equal to 0 how many linearly independent are there out of this 10. Okay. Maybe, maybe if corresponding to lambda equal to 0 out of this 10, all are uh, all are corresponding to 10. I mean, okay, uh, all cannot be corresponding to uh, uh, corresponding to 0. So, because, uh, I mean, there there has to be, no, oh, sorry, oh, yeah, all, all can also be corresponding to 0, which means that uh, that it will look something like this. I mean, your characteristic polynomial will, will look something like this. And here, out of this lambda equal to 0, you have 10 linearly dependent eigenvectors. Then in that case, if all, if all, okay, lambda equal to 0 has, has 10 linearly independent eigenvectors, eigenvectors, then rank is, rank of A equal to 15 minus 10, which is 5. Right? I hope you understood this. Now, suppose, suppose lambda equal to 0 has just 9, which means, that lambda equal to 0 has 9 out of these 10, 9 linearly independent eigenvectors, then rank will be, rank will be 15 minus 9, which is 6. If lambda equal to 0 has 8, then rank will be 15 minus 8. It depends that lambda equal to 0 has how many linearly dependent eigenvectors out of this 10. Okay, by the way, in this case, if lambda equal to 0 has 9 linearly dependent eigenvectors, in this case, what do you think could be the characteristic equation? It should be at least, power should be at least 9, right? Could be 10 also, could be could be 11 also, like that, right? And then uh, then there could be some other, uh, other um, eigenvalues. Let's suppose it is 9, could be 10 also, like that. And then uh, maybe maybe there is, there is one more eigenvalue, which is, let's suppose, lambda minus 1, right? 
and then uh, nine corresponding to this one corresponding to this right so this is this is a valid cor valid uh, characteristic polynomial possible this is also valid cor characteristic polynomial possible nine corresponding to this one corresponding to this this is also valid nine corresponding to this one corresponding to this is this also valid can you just write lambda uh, power nine uh, okay total power should be sorry 15 right so nine six yeah can you can you have something like this lambda minus 1 power 2 lambda minus 2 power 3 something like this can you have three eigenvalues no because uh, in this case if 9 corresponding to this at least one should correspond to this at least one should correspond to this so total it will be 11 anyway like you don't need to worry about all of this so uh, so you just need to take care of one thing that here corresponding to lambda equal to 0 they have not given any information and hence you will say that you don't know the exact rank right so the rank could be could be uh, i mean it, it will depend whether out of these 10 linearly dependent eigenvectors how many of them are corresponding to lambda equal to 0 okay so now let's just see the next question so the, the question is little modification of the earlier question only here they are saying that 10 linearly independent eigenvectors and out of which four linearly independent eigenvectors corresponding to lambda equal to 0 and then immediately you tell me the rank 15 minus 4 which is 11 this is the rank right because they have given you the nullity. See, you need to know that corresponding to lambda equal to 0, how many linearly independent eigenvectors are there. That's all. That's, that's the end of the story. And that is called nullity. Okay. See, there are exactly two linearly independent eigenvectors corresponding to lambda equal to 0. What is the rank? Easily you can find out, right? So, how? 5 minus 2, 3. Because they have given you the nullity. What is the rank? You, you will say 3. Okay. So let's just see this question also. So this question I have taken from Berkeley University. So what they are saying is that is n cross n with characteristic polynomial this? Then explain whether or not following can be true. If it can, then give us the example. Okay. See here, this is this is quite good. Here I do have I do have lambda zero and that is having just power one. Then how many linearly independent eigenvectors could be possible corresponding to lambda equal to zero? See, if it is, let's suppose, power 3, then maybe corresponding to lambda equal to 0, linearly independent eigenvectors could be 1, could be 2, could be 3. It cannot be more than 3 because it is called AM and linearly independent eigenvectors called GM. So, AM is always greater than equal to GM, right? So, that is why if it is 3, then could be 1, 2, 3. But if it is just 1, if it is just 1, then if it is just 1, then exactly one linearly independent eigenvector corresponding to to lambda equal to 0. In this case, 5 minus, uh, okay, what is the, okay, this is 2 plus 1, 3, 3 minus 1, 3 minus, I mean, uh, A dimension is 3, then 3 minus 1 rank must be 2, right? Because corresponding to lambda equal to 0, there is exactly one uh, eigenvector. Now, suppose, suppose they modify the question and then they say that you have something like this. Then, rank of A could be. What will the answer? See, let's suppose you have the options, which is 2, 3, 4, 5, A, B, C, D. Now, corresponding to lambda equal 0, how many, how many linearly independent eigenvectors you have here? See, you can have 1, you can have 2, which means nullity could be, nullity could be 1, which means rank could be 5, uh, 5 minus uh, 1, which is 4 or 3. So, this could be the rank. So, 3 and 4, these two ranks are possible. Why? Because, just listen here carefully, that lambda equal to 0 can have at most two linearly independent eigenvectors. Because this is called AM and whatever you have, I mean a number of linearly independent eigenvectors, it is called GM. So, GM could be 1 or 2. It cannot be more than 2. If it is 1, I mean GM here in this case is nullity. If it is 1, then rank will be 4. If it is, if, if, if it is 2, then rank will be 3. So, that is why 3 and 4 could be the answer. Okay, but suppose they modify the question and then they, they have the same question, but they just give you one more information. They say that A is symmetric. Okay, they say that A is symmetric. See, in case of symmetric, AM and GM both are equal. Okay, so this is the extra information that they have given, which means the number of linearly independent eigenvectors are also exactly equal to 2. 
so here gm is also equal to 2 which means nullity is also exactly equal to 2 you don't have confusion here which means that rank will be the uh, a dimension is 5 so rank will be 3 right rank will be 3 that's how you can solve this question so here here rank will be 3 if the if they have given you matrix is symmetric if they have not given the matrix symmetric, then rank could be could be uh, three or could be four also because nullity could be one also. I hope you understood. So that's how you can solve these kind of questions. Okay, so thank you so much.